we've got you covered. From WSIL, this is News 3 at 6. Good evening, I'm Mark Eastland. And I'm Julie Williams. Paducah needs a complete radio system upgrade to improve its 911 services. That's according to Police Chief Brian Laird. He sat down with News 3's Paul Wilcoxon to talk about the need to update the nearly 20-year-old system. Updated, it doesn't meet our needs as it exists today. After recent updates to the telephone and computer system, the Paducah Police Department is in need of a complete overhaul of its 911 system. It was put in 20 plus years ago. The city's grown, the needs have grown. Paducah Police Chief Brian Lair says the system the department is using is far from where it needs to be to best serve the city. It's on its last leg, it's out of its uh, uh, service life and uh, all of our consultants and vendors are telling us that it has to be replaced. Laird presented the report to the Board of Commissions telling them the system doesn't meet the department's needs. We're operating off a one tower system at the moment for the entire county. To compensate, Laird says the officers are using their personal cell phones to continue communications when radio signal is lost. Building structures are different now than what they were. Um, they're larger buildings. The further away we get from that tower, which is located more towards the downtown area, the further we get towards the west end of town, we lose radio coverage and the ability to communicate out from portable radios, which is a safety issue for the officers. Laird hopes to add six towers to help cover the gap. That way we achieve the best um, service that we can get on those radio systems. When approved, Laird says it could take from 18 to 24 months to upgrade the system. Until then... There's no immediate adjustments that can be made. We've learned to deal with the issue. Time is of the essence to move forward with finding the funding for that, make this become a reality. Reporting from Paducah, Kentucky, Paul Wilcoxon, News 3. Chief Laird also spoke to commissioners about school resource officers and the need to be proactive when it comes to hiring officers.